Kabir had no weapon. He started chasing down a terrorist with a knife. Please welcome to the stage and stand and join me in thanking one very special hero who risked his life to stop a terrorist wielding a knife with his bare hands. Please welcome Kabir Itzhaki. Becoming brave is not about eliminating your fear. It's about harnessing it for your own benefit. Fear is not your enemy. And when it's used correctly, it's an atomic weapon. I started practicing martial arts at the age of five and I haven't missed a class since. Actually, it was my dad who wouldn't let me skip. Throughout my life, fear was always present. It was strong, live and tangible. And as time went by, I've developed the ability to fear differently. I've learned to fear wisely. It's a constant fear of losing multiple injuries, constant thoughts of quitting, but eventually at the age of 17, I became Israel's national karate champion. Absurdly, this success put me in a very complicated dilemma between leaving a promising, prestigious career in martial arts to serving my country and risking my life on a daily basis by enlisting in the Israeli Special Forces. Sometimes we just need to forget everything we know in order to advance. Apart from countless close quarter combat undercover operations in Dudavan, I was appointed to be the Chief Krav Maga instructor of the unit. After an extended service, I decided that I must share this life-saving knowledge with as many people as possible. With no prior experience in business and while other CEOs are twice my age, I founded Instinct, an international self-defense organization with branches all over the world. We teach thousands of people every year how to use fear and win with it. Two of my most fearful moments were when I was on the verge of becoming blind due to a laser surgery that went wrong and when I temporarily lost my short-term memory due to a training accident in the IDF. This is not including the time when I had to deliver myself, my second child, in an emergency home delivery. Shalom Lekfir Yitzchaki, Shebizchotcha Naara Cheret, Nitzla. It's 2 a.m. at night, I'm half asleep in bed, and I hear a girl screaming outside of my window, Stop! You're hurting me! Leave me alone! And I immediately jumped out of bed and ran outside. While I was chasing him, I began planning my next move, but I just couldn't disregard the fact that I was chasing a rapist in my underwear. The pupils dilate, the pulse rises, blood circulates through the muscles, you become sharper, you become more aggressive, you become more accurate and much, much more aware. You gather information better from the environment. The moment I yelled at him, he began running, but I just couldn't let him get away with it. I just had to bring him to justice. Two years later, I see and hear a mass of people running for their lives as there was a terrorist on a rampage with a knife and I immediately began running against the crowd and I spotted him as he was stabbing an elderly lady in her back and I had a split second to decide against my emotions basically that the right thing to do would be to leap over her and stop the terrorist. People try to find breakthroughs when they're all comfy and relaxed but breakthroughs mostly happen when fear is present. So sometimes we need to make a rational decision of running into storm and finding the solutions as we go. Fear is not a system error. So why would we want to fight it? Why would we want to overcome it? The problem is the art of reaction to fear. And fortunately, that art can be learned. After that, the media was all over me, but I refused to be interviewed until an Israeli minister asked me to share the truth of what really happened that day. So at first I gave a short interview with a blurred identity. From that moment on it was like a wildfire all over the world. Fir Zaki was the lead combat instructor in the Israeli Defense Forces. He's in Chicago to provide this training. More and more companies and organizations began inviting me to speak about using fear. With this very thought in mind I crafted my keynote. It was important for me to create something completely different that will entertain the audience but also provide practical and reliable inspiration on how to be brave on the street, in business and even for your family and for your country. So we brought you all the way here for everybody to meet you and to give you this. Uh, you are our Guardian of Israel. This is a Guardian of Israel Award. 
Thank you very much for your support and future support. I believe that risking your life in order to save others, it's not a privilege. I see it as a duty. Do not stand idly by the blood of your neighbor.